Hello. So, as you've probably seen from the other video, if not, um, it will probably explain a lot. I am on with a new Dalek. Yes, and here is a picture. I'm going to explain what's happened. Why am I now doing another version? So, we all know about um, the Stealth Dalek. The Stealth Dalek is getting used at the minute, the Gunmetal Grey. We are in the middle of... Uh, production with filmmaking at the minute with that Dalek. We just sorted it all out. I've got a few little tiny things to do because I'm not operating it, so I uh, it needed a bit of calibrating, let's just say. So I've got for the lass who's operating it some handles for her to be able to hold on to the inside when pushing it, and we're going to have foam because um, we don't want to get in hurt. So that Dalek is still going on. Again, I wasn't too happy because there was a few imperfections on that design. Um, I wasn't really overall. I wanted to try something new. Uh, so the skirt being a Shawcraft variant type. Not a dead on, but a variant type. Um, it did look good. Um, and it, a lot happened with that Dalek. It got changed over and over again in places. Um, the shoulders got b beefed out um, at the top because I didn't like how they went inwards. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, and it's the first Dalek that's ever properly lit up and is talking. So I am quite happy on that. After filming in September, I am hopefully going to an event. I can't name where it is, as they're still sorting it. But there is some. Uh, so that might be the Dalek that I'll be going in. So that's um, that. After all that, um, the Dalek may get destroyed unless there's anyone who be particularly if I can say that word, interested in it. I don't know how much, I'm not allowed, but for a few hundred, because I can't sell that, for, I just need the space. That does mean it wouldn't have the electronics because I need them back out of that Dalek and it would be stripped. Everything else, more or less, will still look like that if someone would be interested in getting that Dalek. I don't know how much, it wouldn't be past uh, 700 quid, if that. I can't make thousands because I know how... It's a shame, but... I need the space. It'd be it'd be better to sell it on an all right price rather than binning it because there's a lot of material and it'd be going to someone, you know, someone else. But don't quote me on that. Things could change, so don't be rubbing your hands thinking, "Oh, seven hundred quid." It might not. I'm just giving a rough estimate. I'm not so great with thinking with money terms. I'd have to think. It has cost a lot of money, but. I need the space after. So yeah, all this. We are on about this Dalek. So as you can see, the top half looks very familiar from the past. Um, and that was from my first proper paradigm. Which the sad thing is about where I'm going with this. It was the Dalek originally that was going to be used. It was the Dalek I was really enjoying building at the time. Um, and the most money that I've spent on moulding. Uh, no, saying that, in Pun J, he cost seven grand to get him made, so not so much. But for the shoulders, not this one, but the shoulders, when I made that Dalek, this one, not this one, sorry, the red one originally, so ignore the bottom half, the top half, um, when I did the shoulders, it cost me 1,200 just to make a mould because I wrapped the entire thing in silicon. Anyone on Facebook will remember that. It was a long, long video. And it never got used. And it's currently, if if you could see in the picture on the pond now, the fiberglass shoulders and the mould is literally there under the... Um, they'll be binned, by the way, these skirts. I'm not using them anymore. Um, yeah, so it cost quite a lot. It was going to be... It's one of the famous Daleks on my channel. If you go all the way back, you'll see even Pong J, which was in the gold and white livery, or cream and gold. And the red Dalek that originally sat in the back and the one that one were there. Yeah, a lot of money got spent. I wasn't overall happy. It was originally going to be the Dalek used in episode 2. But due to cost and everything, it, I said it'd be cheaper to make a timber Dalek. So I said I'll do an actual paradigm one. Reason for the skirt here. I wasn't overall happy and that did go on for a while. I wasn't overall happy with the look so I wanted something a bit more elegant looking. So I said I'm going to... I delayed by about two days because then I got timber straight away and all this. Uh, and I started on it and it took me two days and it looked great, you know. 
Uh, and that's the stealth Dalek I'm going from different points. But yeah, the red Dalek origin, we'll call it the original red Dalek because now it's got the red dome, but that's not the dome it's going to have. But yeah, the red Dalek, as I always call it, sadly it looks like it never i mean the the skirt got destroyed um because i needed space the base and everything is at the side over this way um i could show you in the garden but i'm just wanting to sit down and talk about it um and yeah it it's one of those long story short that dalek was from all that money and everything it was a lot of experience um, and as you can see here, this Dalek is much better. And these are the Daleks that are going to be used. I'm going to have three of these in metallic red. I'm going to mould them better this time. The only part that's going to have a silica mould is the neck. Because of all those little gaps inside. I can't do a mould. in a, You know, the, the gaps are just way too thin to get inside. To tuck fibreglass in and wax and all that. So yeah, the neck will be... Um, silicon the shoulders however for the first time i'm going to try and make a mold that goes a, fo a fiberglass one that way i don't have to worry about the the mold shrinking and it um not lining up to the skirt and it, it's a it's a pain in the ass basically to make silicon and then fiberglass in it to keep it shape uh basically as what happened here it's and that way the tone that's uh 80 kg so i didn't want that so hopefully this one it's going to be fiberglass, the mould that is. Overall, it is coming together. So this Dalek, right, I'm going to have to cut these segments and then put a title. But yes, this Dalek, it is the Paradigms. Um, the skirt is actually the Paradigm. I just took the measurement and I shrunk it down um, by an equation by a friend on Project Dalek. Um, who helped me with upscaling the Imperial, so I just basically didn't times it this time, I then divided it, um, and that's how I got this shape. And it works, it just, yeah, I've been saying it because I'm on, mostly on Facebook, um, there's a lot of build pictures on there and describing uh, and stuff. Um, the moulds are not going to go to waste for the bumps, these bumps are going on it, um, and they can fit on this panel. Um, they're going to have the outer panels, everything like a paradigm, it's just been made to be shrunk basically and look a bit more in proportion. So that being the stuff that I've bought in the past, I, yeah, saying that, the thing that I did today um, is I've added foam. Seems like a really simple idea and it really works for what you need. What I did on the Paradigm was a stupid method, and I'm never going to do it again, and it weighs a ton. Granted, this Dalek's going to be fiberglass once done, but foam really does help, and you know, imagine I'm going to be turning this mould here and there. That's the heaviest part of it, the gun box. But the method I did on the old Dalek, I wrapped it basically as I always do, fiberglass the inside, rip it apart and have, you know, fiberglass, and then I built outwards with timber, and then filled the gaps with newspaper. It's a kind of an alright idea if, I don't know, you haven't got no other alternative. I was impatient and I didn't do the foam method, which I should have done because this is so fast and so simple. Um, just requires a lot of um, making templates as Daleks taper in so you've got funny shapes basically in order to wrap and have them parallel to the floor. Yeah, um, the the... Stealth Dalek, well what did I do, like I say, I put blocks of wood all the way around, like every three inches, filled it with newspaper, and then I started to then apply thickened resin, and it took, I don't even remember, it took way too long, it was heavy, I'm not even saying it, it's still heavy, because it's currently on the Dalek, but yeah, it's, I'm never doing that method ever again. I've always done it on the lower belt, so the um, which we've got right here. So this this took a bit of time. So that lower belt was just bits of wood and then body filler, but that's not too bad compared to the stealth Dalek. So I'm never doing that ever again. I mean, this will be the last time I think I'll do the paradigms. My paradigms, that is. It just has a much more. If and for people who are on here, Dalek builders, it just has that much more elegant Dalek design. Um, so yeah, it, these Daleks here, so this is the plug uh, for anyone who does mould making and all that. I'm sure, Ozzy, you're going to know this anyway. As you, well, I bought a, um, a mould from you. 
yeah, so the entire thing is going to be like in one J. Hell, even though it's bigger and taller, it's going to be a hell of a lot uh, cheaper than that because I had no idea how to properly mold and reason why it costs seven grand. This molding wise, maybe three grand if that. And I'm going to, like I say, have three of these. Hopefully that's he's gone by then because I really need the space and money. Um, and yeah, and then it's the upscaled Imperials versus these and I'm still wondering what I'm going to do for the third faction. Um, because there's three Imperials and the special weapons, um, as you can see over there, I have got the uh, neck bin. Not the correct size, it's a little smaller, but I think I found one in a neighbour's garden. So, long story short, I've got to get that sorted. Um, and yeah, and then these paradigms, these being my design. They do look like the true Dalek paradigms, I keep telling people they're not. It's my design, if I could show what I've done. Um, that's the back profile. It's funny because as soon as I added these these bands, it just started shaping right. And of course, all oh, this will be body filled to be flat and you know gel coated and waiting for materials. This was an idea myself from um, the True Dalek Paradigm plans. So I wanted this to come out to make it look like, um, as we know, the gun and arm comes out of the section or should, and scrolls across. And I thought to dis to make it more distinctive just make a sort of uh, like a plug-in part so I don't know just something that looks different from just the foam lining up here and I thought and also it was to also help the um, hunchback not look too exaggerated basically so I it pulled in reason why there's um, a gap here and that'll be body filled but I'm overall very happy um, the base is gonna get sorted soon um, it's just there for reference. I'm waiting on wood. Most of this Dalek, by the way, has just been free um, 12 mil timber, as I have a workplace just round the corner that does CNC machines. So these used to be about 18 mil thick, and they ground down over time, and then leave them out for me to collect for free. So I get free timber now and again. The neck was 3D printed, and it's now missing the bottom one because I wanted to shorten it to the standard free design. Like I say. A new dome will be casted, well, three brand new ones, because I want the cowls in the centre, as close to the old ones, where they were a lot lower. Uh, they're going to have the, uh, the the lamps that I've bought recently um, for the Stealth Dalek, because that is the new Mo Flash one, so use what I can. And they were like 20 quid for two, so it's not bad. The gun box, uh, tilted, I think that, I believe that just looks better um, for the Paradigms. Um, that more less skittle shape and the bumps like I say will be the full size ones that I've already got so that means that mould um, over there is still going to get used. One thing to note though I've realised <laughs> yeah a lot of practice I am going to do them fiberglass the ones on the stealth Dalek were solid um, gel coat and when I went to tap one of them uh, to tap it out uh, of a ply piece of wood when I was spraying them it cracked the top, so they're not very, they're very heavy, that was the whole point to weigh the bottom down. Yeah, I'm doing fiberglass ones, so gel, you add gel coat, then you mat in. Um, in fact, I've even got some, but just a second. So the other day, uh, the video, where I nearly got arrested, uh, I had a bad day, so let's, um, and this was the part that didn't come out quite right. I think we need light. We'll just go over here. So it didn't quite go to plan. This is a copy. So this is what I mean. This is gel coat. If we can get some good light. This is gel coat with fiberglass matting. So it makes it a bit more. I could really just, you know, funny, but I'm not. There's a few air pockets. It can be used as a blown up Dalek one from a distance. So I do need a better mould because what I did was I did a brush on mould. And either the silicon's just out of date and it didn't want to cure. And the whole idea was to also have a hole through the centre, because it is literally a, a copy of the 3D print one. But it never turned out right. But this can be still used as a uh, a goon one, I guess. A goon prop, blown up one. And that's what he looks like so far. So them two skirts will be gone. But yeah, that's what I'll do next time, because the ones I did are just solid resin. They're just very um, delicate. 
And yeah, we want this Dalek to be, well, the three Daleks to be as light as possible because this is a standard manual Dalek where you sit in them. And they'll be about five foot, five foot five, I think, when complete. And they're going to be in the gunmetal, oh, no, not gunmetal, they're going to be in metallic red, so a lot darker than this one. I remember um, when I did a wheelbarrow, I did the paint. So I want a darker finny, and it'll be painted in gloss. So it'll look like the Paradigms, basically, but you'll be like, oh, there's something off about this. If you were to take a quick glance, you'll be like, yep, this is the paradigm, but it's actually not. Um, so yeah, that's currently my Paradigms, the new ones. I've been trying to keep it a secret, but I thought I'd reveal anyway. It just overall is a, is a, is so much better. I think I am going to have the angled design, because I am going for a full Paradigm look, so I might as well have the hunchback design, which I don't mind. It just looks a hell of a lot better. And it is, like I say, I've just done the, the skirt from the plans. I changed it a little bit at the top to make it a bit more angled because I didn't like the parallel panels. But it's pretty much the Paradigm uh, skirt scaled down and then worked everything into proportion. The neck and dome being your standard size to the plans. And yeah, and the, uh, the base won't be too tall either. It'll be about 180 mil instead of two. Ooh, no, they said the measurement there. I'm not allowed to say that. See, I have to cut that out. Um, yeah, so my measurements are not actually finny. But yeah, let's just say mine's going to be shorter. About, uh, about another 60, 80 mil shorter than what it should be. That's not giving away the actual measurement. Um, but yeah, and it they are short because again, I'm not the only operator. Hopefully if we have a third episode or anything promotion wise, it will be easier for the lass who's operating them as well. Because I want to have, have my own Dalek as well when operating. So then there's two or three. Um, she has to be able to reach the floor because she's what five, no, maybe four foot something. So I had to make sure, I had to borrow her as well, to make sure she could see out and touch the floor in order to pull herself. So this Dalek's more or less built around her and I'll still fit and anyone else will still fit inside. As they are big buggers, you can tell just a bit, even though that Dalek's in the back, this dome is a, is your standard size. Whereas, as I always say, Impunje is a lot smaller. And that's why I gave up on him because, well not gave up, he's dumb, but I gave up because... It's way too cramped in there. She could fit in there really well. Uh, I can't anymore. So yeah, bigger Daleks. And yeah, I'm just... I am just so blown away with what... It's taken me what... This is my sixth attempt at the Paradigms now. Gradually learning with the skills. Because the plans, yeah, they are easy to read. But when you've never done a Paradigm, you've done 60s, 80s. The Paradigms, they are a completely new design. Definitely the shoulders, they are the hardest part. But they're coming along smoothly now that I know how to do them. So yeah, materials will be coming in the next few days. I can finish this off, make it a lot smoother, body fill, everything. And then it's taking a mould of it. And then, if I can get money, then that, then the skirt, then the base. And yeah. There'll be a lot of updates, but not so many in one go, let's just say. Um, it'll be very choppy, so like the episode you've got just recently on the music video That was about three weeks of work so far of me keeping hush um, on Facebook and everything But I just wanted to show because I'm so proud of where it is So yeah, that's me more or less done with this whoever's watching it I'm sure as usual everyone loves whoever's watching it is loving the updates and these are going to be the new paradigms. The paradigms that should have been, I say, uh, without going off and saying, patting myself on the back. I just think it stays true. It's that new paradigm look, but it stays true to the Dalek pepper pot shape. So yeah, uh, I'll see you all soon.